Once upon a time, there was a wise monk who was loved by everyone in his village. As he lay in bed, near death, he called his young helper and said, Keep this in mind, never let a cat into your life. After saying this, he passed away peacefully. A large crowd gathered to hear the monk's last words. Everyone was surprised and confused. The young monk thought, why shouldn't I let a cat into my life? This confusion filled his mind and showed how our beliefs can shape our choices. After the funeral, the young monk kept thinking about the old monk's strange advice. He really wanted to understand what it meant. This reflects how we all struggle with confusing messages that can make us think deeply. In the monastery, there was an older monk who had spent many years with the great monk. He had watched him closely but was too old to become the leader. Seeing the young monk looking confused, the old monk approached him and asked, What's bothering you, my friend? The young monk shared his confusion about what the great monk meant by not letting a cat into his life. The old monk smiled kindly and said, There's a long story behind that. He began to tell the young monk about their master. Long ago, the great monk had left everything behind, his wife, kids, and home, to find a deeper understanding of life in the forest. He settled near a small village and often asked the villagers for food. They liked having him around, so they built him a small bamboo house. At first, the monk had only two pieces of clothing. But soon, he had a big problem, rats started coming into his house and chewing on his clothes. If the rats kept coming, he thought, he wouldn't have any clothes left. This shows how small problems can grow and cause stress. Worried, the monk asked the villagers for help. They said, why not get a cat? It can chase away the rats. The monk thought this was a great idea, so he got a cat from the villagers. The cat did a good job of getting rid of the rats. But soon, another problem appeared. The monk needed to feed the cat, which meant he had to go to the village every day to ask for milk. This shows how one small decision can lead to many new duties. So, he went back to the villagers for help again. This time, they suggested, what if you got a cow? We can help you find one. That way, you won't have to come here every day for milk, and you can enjoy some milk too. The monk thought, that sounds good. Soon, he had a lovely cow. But then there was another problem, now the cow needed grass to eat. So, the monk had to go back to the village every day to ask for grass. This made his life more confusing, showing how our choices can trap us in responsibilities. The villagers began to whisper, thinking it was strange for a monk to be asking for grass. The monk said, but I have to feed my cow and cat. What should I do? One villager had a smart idea. There's a widow in our village who has no one to help her. If we ask her to help you, she would be happy to take care of your cow and cat. You won't have to keep coming here for grass, and we can clear some land next to your house for her to grow her own grass and vegetables. The monk liked this idea and agreed. The villagers spoke to the widow, who was pleased to help since she was all alone. She moved in with the monk and began taking care of the cow and cat while planting crops on the cleared land. As time passed, the monk and the widow worked hard together in the fields. They shared laughs and stories, and slowly, they fell in love. This shows how shared experiences can build strong connections between people. The widow was kind and beautiful, and the young monk found happiness in their simple life. Eventually, she became pregnant and they welcomed a child into their family. One day, the monk looked at his happy family and thought, what happened to my old life? I gave up everything to find peace, but now I have a family again. It all started because I let that cat into my life. This moment shows how unexpected choices can bring joys we didn't see coming, encouraging us to think about our own lives and the decisions we make. The old monk nodded and said, your master warned you about the cat because it represents letting small distractions take over your life. 
When we give in to little temptations, they can lead us down paths we never meant to go. He continued, in life, we often make choices that seem harmless at first, thinking, just this once won't hurt. But those small choices can change everything. Just like the monk who wanted to protect his clothes but ended up with a whole family because of that cat. The young monk listened carefully and began to understand the old monk's message. He realized that he needed to be careful with his choices. This understanding can help others think about their own actions and their effects. In everyday life, we can see how bad habits can lead to trouble. Some people try drugs, thinking, I can stop whenever I want, but then they get addicted. Others know that junk food isn't good for them but still eat it because it tastes good, thinking, it won't hurt just this once. So, always remember this, the old monk advised. Never let that cat into your life. If you let your mind wander too much, it can lead you into trouble without you realizing it. The young monk smiled, grateful for the important lesson he had learned. He felt ready to take on his new role as the leader of the monastery, keeping this wisdom in his heart and knowing that being careful with his choices can greatly shape his life.